loot a house when it's on fire. This is an ancient Chinese stratagem. Beijing's infiltration of the U.S. stock exchange is a living example of this tactic. China wanted to strike the American economy when it was the most vulnerable, but American lawmakers may have outfoxed the dragon. The U.S. Senate has passed a bill aimed at removing rogue Chinese firms from the American stock market. Yesterday, we discussed the possibility of this bill becoming a law. Today, we can tell you that it's getting there. Washington is stopping deceitful Chinese companies from raising money from American investors. This is a bipartisan bill. It was introduced by Senator John Kennedy, who's a Republican, and Senator Chris Van Hollen, who's a Democrat. The U.S. Senate showed unanimous consent for the bill. It has been passed. Let me break it down for you. The primary target of this bill are a set of companies that follow different rules. They were not subject to the same investor protection rules as their American counterparts. Reports say at least 600 Chinese companies are listed in U.S. stock exchanges. They are well-known corporate giants. I could name a few. JD.com, a Chinese e-commerce giant. This company is putting smaller American e-commerce firms out of competition. It has been betting on household products to keep the growth humming. Then there's Baidu. A Chinese search engine giant, it is already considering delisting itself before this bill becomes a law in America. We've all heard of Alibaba. This company's shares dropped by 2% as soon as this bill was passed in the U.S. Senate. Remember, Baidu's Robin Lee and Alibaba's Jack Ma, both of these billionaires have their fortunes tied to U.S. listings. And then there are state-owned companies like PetroChina, China Life, China Telecom, Huan Engpar, the Aluminium Corporation of China, and China Petroleum. All these Chinese state-owned giants that don't play by the same rules as American companies do. Now, if this bill becomes a law, and it most likely will, these companies will have to leave the United States. Because under this law, every single company will have to declare that they are not state-owned or not manipulated by a foreign government. The state-owned companies can't do that, of course. What about the private companies? They will have to submit audits for inspection to American watchdogs. Any failure to provide information for three consecutive years will mean a delisting of the company's shares. The writing is on the wall. America wants to hit China where it hurts the most shut its markets to Chinese cheaters. Chinese companies had been cheating at every turn. No wonder they're panicking now. Their shares dropped today. Most of the companies I just mentioned had their shares in the red in today's trade. So what would it take for this bill to become a law? It'll have to be approved by the U.S. House of Representatives. It is controlled by Democrats. Once the House clears it, then it'll be sent to the President for approval. There has been no announcement on when a vote will be held. In the meantime, here is how the U.S. government plans to keep up the pressure on China. America is selling more arms to Taiwan. The Trump administration has approved a potential $180 million arms sale to Taiwan. $180 million. Why? Because America says it wants Taiwan to maintain a quote-unquote credible defense capability. So the U.S. State Department plans to sell heavyweight torpedoes and other arms and ammunition to this island state. And look at the timing here. America's announcement came on the exact same day when Tsai Ing-wen was sworn in for her second term in office. She was sworn in as the president of Taiwan, a president, no matter what the Chinese embassy tells us. China calls her a separatist. The Chinese foreign ministry, meanwhile, is mighty upset. They sent Mr. Zhao Lijian to lodge solemn representations against America's decision. China is firmly against U.S. selling arms to Taiwan and has lodged solemn representations to the United States. We urge the U.S. to abide by one China policy and three joint communique. Stop arms sales to Taiwan and military contact with Taiwan in order to avoid further damage to the U.S.-China relation and Taiwan Strait relation. China is being cornered and how? loot a house when it's on fire. It may be a Chinese stratagem. It is now being used against the Chinese regime, which has set the entire world on fire.